Hi, my name is Camille Daljawad and I'm your instruction and outreach librarian. And if you assign any current events or you just like keep it up on the news, this video is for you. Did you know that you have access to the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, and two video streaming platforms for free through our library? This includes access for park students, park faculty, and staff. So get rid of your subscriptions and check out this video so that you can find out how. To access these resources, start from our library website, library.park.edu. And from here, you'll go into databases right here on the second tab. From here, you can scroll down or you can use these boxes up at the top to filter. I'm gonna to filter to news first and scroll down until you find N for New York Times. Our access looks a little bit different. You don't go to the New York Times website, but it does have full access right here in Gale Academic One file. So what you'll wanna do is if you know that there's a certain article that you want to read that was published on a certain date, you can find that date by going through and scrolling through here, or if it was last year or the year before, you can see that our index goes all the way back to 1985. So you can go in, select the date of the article you want to read, and then once you click on that, you'll be able to see all the different articles that were published on that date. Um, and you can go through, find whichever one that you are looking for, and then you can read it right away. You can also share this with your students. So if you're wanting to share something current or a new current event, you can utilize this resource to then share this article with others. We also have two video streaming platforms that have educational content, docu-series, documentaries, et cetera, that might be helpful for you in your classes or to refer your students to. So if you go in up here, again, we're gonna use this dropdown that says all database types and scroll down until we see media. We have two databases, Films on Demand and Canopy. So we're gonna scroll down until we get to K for Canopy. Click on it, it'll authenticate. And you'll see that there's a lot of really high quality resources available for you to read right away. And that's it. So throw out those Wall Street Journal and New York Times subscriptions and check out Canopy and Films on Demand for additional educational content that is really high quality and interesting that you could incorporate into your classes. Please feel free to reach out to the library if you have any questions.